What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video I'm going to be discussing my top 6 Cydia tweaks for 2013 on iOS 6. So in this video today, I'm going to be going over my top six iOS 6 Cydia tweaks. So the first one that I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys is color keyboard. Now when I go ahead and slide over here to my spotlight search on my iPhone, you can see I have a completely different colored keyboard. Uh, it's actually blue and every time I tap a key, there's also a blue background to it. So this tweak is only $1.99 in Cydia and I do have to say it is completely worth it. You could change up your device's uh, keyboard to any color, any theme you really want. I'll just show you here, I'll go into settings. And I'll go to colored keyboard and as you can see here I have a ton of really cool stuff I can choose from mainly selecting themes um, the one I have enabled is this blue Carolina Calfrego Fernandez that's the author I guess of this um, and you could of course download a ton from Cydia but you can see there are a lot of color options here uh, I'm just not going to change it for the sake of this video for now um, then you can also select the color of the pop-up key so you can make the keyboard pink and the pop-up key let's say green and you could just really customize it um, to anything you really want and then you have themes here and stuff like that and there's just a ton of other cool stuff um, so it's pretty awesome uh, this is the first time in a jailbreak on my iOS device I've ever used a color keyboard um, and I gotta say I do really like it so the next tweak I'm gonna be showing you is called IntelliScreen X now this tweak is extremely popular uh, it's been one of the top iOS tweaks for quite some time now at first I thought hey this really isn't worth ten dollars uh, but then I went ahead and for the first time bought a Cydia tweak and for ten dollars I think it was absolutely worth it I love this tweak um, pretty much what it is is not only is it a notification center for lock screen but it's also a redesigned redefined notification center um, just with a ton of more stuff and so you can see here uh, I have my time and then I also have a ton of information up here um, about some of my social services and Twitter and stuff like that here I have local weather enabled um, I could tap to tweet, tap to post with Facebook, tap to tweet with Twitter. Um, I have airplane mode, a toggle, a Bluetooth mode toggle, Wi-Fi mode toggle, um, a little flashlight mode toggle, which actually does work. You just can't see because my I have fluorescent lighting, a portrait uh, orientation toggle, and a respring toggle. And then right here is my reminders, and it would show everything in Notification Center right through here. And then when I swipe to the right, you can see I have my Twitter feed, swipe to the right, my emails, swipe to the right, my Facebook, and for one more swipe to the right, I have a whole RSS feed from ModMyEye and iDownloadBlog.com, two very popular sites about tech, and I pretty much just use that to get updated on the latest tech if I'm not using Twitter. Um, it's a pretty cool tweak, and it just slides up like that. If you do want to get it like clear like I have, so you can see behind the home screen, uh, you go down to load a tweak that's free called Blurred NC Background. Pretty useful. And if you pay the full $10 for IntelliScreen X, you'll actually get this free little tweak along with it. It's called Messages Plus, and I'm not going to lie, it's one of my favorite tweaks as well, but I just counted it as one because it's built in with IntelliScreen X. And the cool thing about it is you can do it right from the lock screen. So I'm right on my lock screen here. Just like that, I'll just be like, hi. And I hit send and it immediately goes back to the home screen. And it does work pretty well. As you can see, I just got it back right there. And then I could just swipe up and lock my phone and never have to open the messages app or go to the home screen. So the next week I'm going to talk about that's become one of my recent favorites is called Lively Icons. Now I actually downloaded this from Cydia by accident when I was looking for um, the random flip icons uh, where just one of your icons randomly flips on your device. It turns out though in iOS 6 it crashes your device's apps very often. It took me a few days to figure that out but I finally did. Um, it's a pretty cool tweak, you know, the, the f random flip icons one, but it crashes your device, so I just got rid of it. Um, but Lively Icons, I think, is a bit cooler. And what you do is when you open up an app, you can see I have a little gesture on the settings thing when it happens. And then if I open up iTunes or the App Store, you can see that the same thing happens. And so pretty much what it is, is it's just little random gestures that happen uh, when you open an application. You can see me. Um, and it's it's actually very cool so I'll go ahead and open settings there just so you can see again and you get a little preference frame and you install it from Cydia um, and you could actually change what the animation is as you can see here so you can make it like for example I will do this Pac-Man one it's pretty cool actually um, and you can see Pac-Man comes right into my device or my settings icon or whatever icon I press um, and then you could also change the speed of it I like it pretty fast and snappy and I always have it set to um, spin clockwise and then I'll just show you the zoom in one here you can see that the uh, icon kind of blows up uh, then there's a shake one uh, I was gonna actually choose this one too you can see the icon shakes a bit but my favorite one is spin clockwise and it just puts a cool little gesture um, on your application when you tap it 
uh, before you actually open it. And depending on how fast it goes, you'll get that delay at the beginning. Uh, you make it super fast, you'll get like no delay at the beginning. Pretty cool tweak. So the next one is uh, TV Locker Pro, and you actually do have to pay for uh, the Pro version in Cydia, but you could just go look up TV Locker. I'm pretty sure that that tweak is free. Um, but the advantages with the Pro tweak are you get a lot of different settings that you can actually change. So I'll go here into settings, and it pretty much just makes the animation where it closes like a TV. Um, and it's actually very cool, and the uh, advantages, when you just get TV Locker, uh, that's all you have, it's just a simple white TV shutting off. With TV Locker Pro, you get it all. I mean, you can change the color, how fast it happens, the opacity of the actual color, or however you say that, I never got that one right. Um, the landscape animation, if you want a sound to play when it shuts off, it's very cool what you could do with it. Um, and it just it's puts this little cool animation on your device when you actually lock it, as if you're shutting off an original uh, tube TV. If you guys have ever noticed a little Apple logo in the corner of my phone, in one of my original videos, it was actually a quick little hack you could do in iTunes with your carrier, but now that I'm jailbroken, you know, obviously you could do it through a jailbreak very easy. And versus just picking a small selective icons that were pre-made for you through your computer, um, you can actually go into Cydia and download a little tweak called Zeppelin. This is a very awesome tweak and pretty much it gives you a full list uh, default of a ton of different icons you could put. So here you could see my carrier changes to the little Nike symbol, Pac-Man, Blue Cloud, Batman. I mean, you could just go anywhere. Windows, Superman, there's a lot of cool stuff. I usually have it set to the Apple. Um, and then you can actually go into Cydia and download a ton of different packs and actually customize it. However, uh, the last uh, Zeppelin pack I downloaded was Zeppelin Sledge. And it also led to crashing up my device a lot just because there are over 200 icons packed into the pack. Um, maybe that's just my device or how it's recognized in the backup. Maybe I just have too much Cydia crap installed. Um, but uh, definitely check out Zeppelin Sledge to add on. It adds a crap ton of more icons. And the final tweak I'm going to show you guys is Auxo. So this is a paid tweak as well. And you just pretty much double tap the uh, home button. And you see here that I have a whole set of actual um, little... Uh, backgrounds behind the icons versus it just being the icons you can see that the multitasking bar opens up a little more it pretty much redefines your whole multitasking experience and what's really cool if I want to get rid of apps I could just swipe down and they end so get rid of settings swipe down if I want to get rid of if I have a lot of apps I never like if I never end in multitasking just hold them down and they all go away and you could change in settings if are you sure or something and then swipe over to the left here you got all your music controls and then right here you got brightness controls, you got uh, mirroring, you got um, a portrait orientation, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 3G, airplane, volume, not sure what that is, location services, uh, another flashlight toggle, not sure what that is, another location services, and your spring your phone. And I honestly think it's a very useful tweak. Um, I think I mainly got it, not for the music controls, but I love the different multitasking experience. It's pretty cool. And then there's even a preference pane in settings that you can also use um, where you can actually change up the main functions of it, the configuration, uh, how the toggles are laid out and stuff like that. I know this was mainly a tweak video, but many people ask me all the time what theme I have on my iPhone uh, through Winterboard, and Winterboard is pretty much a tweak you download from Cydia. I, I've, I've reviewed it before. There's no need for me to get into it. Um, but if you guys were wondering, I took two very popular uh, themes and smashed them together. Um, one from Impulse, which is a paid theme. It's pretty cool. And I took the springboard from Impulse, so that's all the icons. That's how all these frames are around the icons. Uh, and then I took the whole actual uh, interface of the icon, pronounced as icon theme. They're both uh, paid tweaks in Cydia. You know, if you have your ways of getting them free, well, you go right ahead and do that. But um, as you can see here, this is what my home screen looks like. Um, and I like it a lot and those I just figured I'd point that out to you guys um, That's the theme that I'm using and to answer another common question by the way is this little pattern lock thing that I have is Android lock XT I reviewed that in a previous video. I just changed up the theme um, of how I actually unlock my phone Which happens to be these little squares. Oh and last but not least the Wii sounds the Wii lock and unlock sounds if you guys have been hearing them Yeah, I SSH my device for that. It's pretty self-explanatory uh, if you could just look it up download open SSH and um, Cydia, I covered this in another video with the moving wallpaper, so just go watch that and you're just gonna swap out sounds and stuff like that. It's, yeah, I'd rather not explain it in this video. 
And there you go, guys. That's pretty much it for my video on the top six Cydia tweaks of 2013 running on iOS 6. If you guys like this video, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Tell me what tweaks you liked and tell me what you would love to see. Um, I'm more than open to be doing Cydia tweak videos again. Um, they are some of the most popular videos on my channel, and you guys just love them. I love showing you what's on my device. Of course, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also smash that subscribe button below. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.